Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from BlenderRender.com. I couldn't find a video to set up the Pico SDK for Unreal, and I had some issues configuring it myself, so I thought I'd make a video for the next person who tries it. I made sure to add bookmarks so you can use the timeline to go to a specific part. Also, after this intro, I'll be moving very fast. You can always click the settings and slow the speed down. You can pause the video and press the right or left arrows to move one frame at a time, which can be helpful to see specific settings. I'll be going through the steps in Pico's documentation. I'll put a link to it and other helpful resources in the description. Make sure to check their documentation because things may have changed by the time you watch this video. I also just found a Discord channel that's specifically for Pico VR development, so join that if you want to. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make more Pico VR tutorials. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I'm using Unreal Engine 4.26.2. Pico suggests Android Codeworks, but Unreal says not to use Codeworks, so I'm using Android Studio instead. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new project. We'll do games, virtual reality, mobile tablet, scalable 3D or 2D, and ray tracing disabled. Okay, we'll go to edit, project settings, type in maps. We're gonna change the editor startup map to the motion controller map. Under content browser, let's open up this and go to virtual reality BP maps, and then double click on motion controller map. Open up editor preferences, project preferences, and plugins. This way we can switch between all of them easily. Under project settings, let's search for HDR and turn off mobile HDR. We'll restart the editor later. Go to project settings, platforms, Android, and configure now. Under platforms, Android, advanced APK packaging, let's delete Daydream and Oculus. Search default touch interface and clear this. Search KitKat and make sure this is checked. Search SDK and change these to 19. Go down to Platforms, Android SDK. Under SDK API level, type in Match NDK, all lowercase. Under NDK API level, type Android-19. Search Package Game and make sure Package Game Data Inside APK is checked. OK, now let's go to the Plugins tab. Under built-in virtual reality, let's uncheck everything. Let's also go to input devices and uncheck everything. All right, save and close the project as well as the Epic Games Launcher. If you haven't already, download the Pico Unreal SDK. To do that, go to the homepage of the Unreal SDK, then download. Agree to their terms and then save it to a location that you can find easily. Unzip it. Find the UE version you are using and unzip that as well. Go into this folder and go into Plugins folder. Select all of these and copy them. Locate your project file, and if there's not already a Plugins folder, create one. Again, this is case sensitive, so make sure P is capitalized. Paste your Pico plugins here. If we go back to content and search for motion, we're gonna look up the motion controller pawn, double click on this. And in the blueprint, we're going to go to set up player height. And then here, click on this switch on name. On the right over here, we're going to click on plus. We're going to add the name. F Pico VR HMD. You should make sure this is capitalized the correct way. So capital F, capital P, ICO, capital VR HMD. Okay, now we're going to drag this up to the Windows Oculus Vive. Go ahead and compile and save. Now let's go ahead and minimize this and we'll double click on motion controller. You can search by motion. In here, click on the event graph, press control F and search for Steam. And then double click on get Steam VR Chaperone. We need to break this git bounds. So let's hold down alt and click on inverts. If we try to compile this, we get an error. So we need to add something here. So let's just drag off of this and then type make array. Okay, compile and save. Okay, now we're gonna add the input. I'm going to be providing these in the description so you can follow along with the description, you can follow along with the video, but either way, this is what we're going to do. So go to project settings and then under engine input, we have a few different things here. We have axis mappings and action mappings under bindings. So if you look here, we have action mappings. If we open this up, we have teleport right. So we can do teleport right. And then you can see we have our other inputs. 
we can press the plus button and then we need to search for this Pico Neo controller RA. So we search here, type in Neo RA. So see this Pico Neo RA. We're gonna do the same for the left. Neo LX. Grab left. Let's add one. It's going to be left trigger. Neo trigger. Neo left trigger. Grab right. We're going to add that. It's going to be Neo R trigger. Okay, under axis mappings, we're going to go to motion controller, thumb left, Y. Let's open this up and then let's add search Neo Rocker Y. And this is going to be the left. So left Rocker Y. Then add this one, Neo Rocker X. Make sure it's left. And then the same for the right. So Neo rocker Y right. Make sure to choose the right. And then one more. Neo rocker X. Make sure to choose the right. Let's go to File, Package Project, Android, and select Android ASTC. If it fails, go to the output log. And once you've successfully packaged your project, the last step is to install it on your Pico and see if it works. Plug in your Pico headset and open command prompt. Then type ADB devices, all lowercase and one space in the middle. If you see your device, you can go ahead and push your app. To do that, type ADB space install space and then drag over the .apk file. Press enter. If you are reinstalling this, type ADB space install space dash r space and then drag over your file then press enter if it's successful you will see it say success check in the headset to see if it works you should also see your left and right controllers if you want to see more pico tutorials let me know in the comments if you have any issues let me know otherwise subscribe and i'll see you in the next video